Language can be tricky. Some words you recognize, some words you know, while others are a mystery. But pictures are a different story. We all understand this. You've heard the phrase, a picture speaks a thousand words. Actually, an image can do more than that. It can speak a thousand words in any language. How? It's all down to our semantic memory. Our semantic memory is part of our long-term memory. It loves ideas, concepts, meanings and facts. It's the part of the brain that collects the things that make up our common knowledge. Hoarding this information, ready to access at a moment's notice. For example, when we see an image. We know the smell, the taste and all the many associations of this apple. And so we find universal understanding from a simple 2D image. Why is this important? Well, working in a global environment, we all face communication challenges, whether you're a designer, developer, stakeholder or project owner. And we're not just talking language barriers. Miscommunications, unclear instructions, knowledge gaps and more can create a kind of chaos behind the scenes. So, we need a common language. We need a semantic naming convention that is accessible for all. How do we do this? By creating recognisable patterns and a naming system that's rooted in common knowledge. When it comes to website development, semantic naming makes life a whole lot easier. It is common language of web design and development, cutting through the clutter and rescuing us all from long-winded and indecipherable code. If you're familiar with code, you might know what this means. You might not. Either way, it will take longer to decipher than this. At a glance, we now know we're dealing with the hero, the title and tagline. It's clearer and neater, but we can take this to the next level. As a web content editor, how do you know which pattern is which from the many variations? How can you quickly refer to the right one? We can break down the principle behind the pattern and give it a name that is easy to recall. Recognize these guys? Your semantic memory is kicking in. The Hulk takes up a lot of space. He expands and grows. And he is unashamedly in your face. As is this component style. The image stretches the full width of the page, taking up maximum space. It also expands to show more information. It's the Hulk as a web page component. This is Spider-Man. Like a web shooter, it's one single image with different call-to-action threads. And here are Batman and Robin, a dynamic duo, always together. But Batman is in the limelight, Robin his secondary sidekick. Batman and Robin manifest in our website world as two images side by side, one larger than the other. If we look at the non-semantic code for these interface designs, which is which? much clearer. That's not all. Over the last 30 seconds, your semantic memory has been busy hoarding. We've given it some common facts, and it's been lapping up this information. How can we tell? Well, chances are, you now know the names of these three just by looking at them. So, in the space of a few seconds, you've learned a semantic naming system. Using visual connections, we've created a common language that is both easy to remember and easy to recognize, which ultimately makes it easier to use.